what's poppin my j dolls and i am back with another video you guys before i get into this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and ring that bell you guys we're on the road to 2000 subscribers don't play with us y'all know i've been playing with y'all i know i need to be consistent i know i need to get my ass up and stand the fuck down okay um y'all comment below what day should i post i really need to just pick a specific day of the week so if you could comment what day of the week you usually watch youtube videos what time frame so then i can just pre-upload them y'all y'all might see my little dog dog chanel period poo uh because she's in here but anyways y'all let's get to the video today i'm actually going to be doing a video about my spiritual my spiritual journey and then also my healing journey i feel like it's like a combination sorry chanel's like shaking um i feel like it's a combination of the two and i'm sorry i'm gonna be all over the place because i'm passionate about this i didn't write no notes or nothing so i guess i should start from what i mean by spiritual journey so if you're super religious you might not want to watch this it's not anti-religion or anything like that but like I'm a very spiritual person. Yes, I do believe in God as well, but I'm very spiritual and I do believe in certain things people don't believe in. So if you're going to be one of them people, you might as well get up out of here. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, And then my healing journey is just going to be, I might start with my healing journey and how I got to my spiritual journey. Yeah, let's talk about that, y'all. So I'm going to just say like last year, 2022 was a whirlwind for me y'all i had some highs and i had some very lows like the lowest i have had in my life um so i'm also going to do a video about like entrepreneurship and how social media glorifies entrepreneurship i'm actually going to do this next so anyways y'all i went on my entrepreneur journey i had quit my job didn't have a job like walked on faith which i made it y'all i made it I'm still in the same apartment. I got a car still. I have a new job. Like, I made it. I made it through. And that's a big thing you gotta learn is faith is real. And you can make it through anything as long as you have your mind set that you can make it through anything. And as long as you're motivated to not get stuck in a place. But y'all, at one point in my life, like, I was depressed. I'm not gonna lie. I was sad. I was like, man, I don't have a job. I'm broke. Like, y'all, I'm broke. Like, one minute I was rich, one minute I was broke. And I said, bitch, I'm not used to this, y'all. I'm used to just always having money now. I've never been rich. Uh, and I mean in my adulthood, y'all. I grew up poor. So it's like, like not like poverty, but like poor. You know what I mean? So it's like, um, when I became an adult, I graduated college. Right after college, I got a job. And, like, I felt like, oh, man, I never really had a struggle when I was an adult. Like, I was comfortable. I wasn't rich, but I was comfortable. And so I got into a place where I was so used to, like, having everything that I wanted and giving myself access to a lot of things that I didn't need that when I quit my job and, like, you know seven months go by and like and now i'm broke okay i started a business i've been traveling i've been living my life like i normally would live my life but i don't have a job right <laughs> so y'all i did have a side job and not like i didn't have no job at all and i did have savings and i did have money so but it ran out money runs so fast especially when you're used to a certain lifestyle so anyways y'all so I got into a moment where I just sat with myself a lot. Like when I quit my job, I was at home a lot. Like I would work on my website for my business. My business, my business is called Lavish. My Instagram is it's a lavish thing. Um, right now my website is down, which is a whole nother thing. I'll talk about my entrepreneurship um, web or video. But anyway, y'all. So I was at home. I was working on my website. I would go to coffee shops. I would work on my website. I was doing photo shoots. I really was doing what I needed to do. Don't get me wrong. But there was moments and times when I was just like sitting in the house and I'm like, I don't have a job. Like I barely have any money left. Like I am depressed. I am sad. I am broke. Like that's how I felt at the moment. And a lot of those times I really had to sit with my thoughts, sit with myself. Uh, I had to realize the things that I thought were important, the things that I thought made me happy didn't make me happy. And I really learned myself. That's when I became more like, I healed more. I became more spiritual. And so either ways, y'all, I sat with myself and I was like, oh my God, 
I'm very materialistic. I used to be very materialistic. Like I have to have designer this, this type of bag, this type of car. This is my goals is to have a freaking Mercedes and a freaking Tesla. And like, I want to live in a penthouse. Like that was my goals in life. And like when I sat in my brokenness, I was like, dang, baby. This ain't important. What's important to me is happiness. Like when I quit my job, y'all, a lot of things in my life went bad. And then a lot of things went really good. A lot of things I had to focus on, I started to focus on. Um, and I learned my purpose. Some people will never know their purpose in life. And my purpose is not to work a regular job. And yes, I work a regular job right now. But I know my purpose in life. And I know that I have to balance to get to where I want to get to. But y'all, let me hear y'all because I talk too much. So boom, y'all, I was sitting into my feelings. I was like, I don't care about designer. I don't care as long as I got a car, a nice apartment, a nice neighborhood. I am fine. I am fine what I really like to do in life. So I feel like everybody should sit with themselves. See what they really, what really makes you happy because money is not going to make you happy. And not having money ain't going to make you happy either. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. But what it, what fills you up? What fills your cup? And I started realizing travel fills me up. I love to travel. Um, creating content fills me up. That's what my purpose in life is, is to be a content creator. This I was making YouTube videos when I was in junior high school, y'all. Way before social media was a big thing, way before YouTube was a big thing, I always wanted to be a YouTuber. I know that's my purpose. I know that I know that business being a business owner is also my purpose in life. Like my dad was a business owner, and I see my dad struggle. I'll put that in that I'll put that in an entrepreneur video. Um, my dad was very creative. I'm very creative. My dad was artsy, he knew how to paint, he was a photographer. And he was a hustler, y'all. And I'm a hustler. And I'm not talking drugs, but I, I'm a hustler, y'all. And I found that out, like, even if I don't have a job, I'm going to make it. I made it, y'all. I made it through. And during that time, I didn't feel like I was going to make it through, but I made it through to the other side. A lot of things happened to me in that year. Like, last year, I would say, um, I went through a breakup, which was uh, the hardest breakup for me that I had in a long time. Um, besides my first, like, breakup ever, you know, so, to be honest, I had to really sit in my feelings, like, I couldn't go to work, you I did have a side job, so I could do that, but, like, when, even then, I was in my mind, because I, it wasn't, like, one of them jobs where you go and a boss keep telling you do something, so your mind just gets off of what your real problems is, y'all, so I had to cry every day, y'all, I had to be sad, y'all, I had to be sad, I had to sit in the sadness. I had to accept it. I had to push through it. I had to not go back. Um, and a lot of these things that happened to me set me on my spiritual journey. So the healing aspect is after my breakup, I didn't I didn't have a job before we even broke up. But I didn't have a job. I just went through a breakup. So I really had to focus on myself. Like I was telling this person I was with, he needs to go to therapy because some things had came out. And I'm like, you need to go to therapy. Whole time, I need to go to therapy, y'all. I've been through some trauma in my life that I've never talked to many people about. So I'm like, I need to go to therapy. I'm telling these men, I'm trying to help everybody. I'm trying to build everybody. But I need to build myself. Like, I need to get focused. I need to fix myself and grow and have self-love. Like, that's what I need. So, y'all, I want to path up. I got my own therapist, y'all. So I got my own therapist. I started learning a lot of things about my personality and myself that I never realized. Like, I'm like, oh, like not all the people I've been with have been the problem. I'm also a problem in some sort. I don't say they're the biggest problem, but I don't know how to communicate. And I don't know how to handle certain problems. And I like to leave people. There's a lot of things I had to work on. That's a whole nother video. Uh, but anywho, y'all. So I went to start going to therapy. Before when me and my ex were together, I was working out. And I was portioning my food, but I wasn't consistent at the gym. And so after we broke up, y'all, I was going to the gym consistently like five times a week. And if I didn't make it five times, it would be three to four times a week. And I started taking myself serious, started taking my life serious, y'all. Uh, before we even broke up, I had got a job. Or right when we broke up. I think it was before. Yeah, before we broke up, I got a job. Because I got like... 
uh, recruited during the time I was out of the country. So anyways, y'all, so I didn't get a job. I didn't want a job. I was just recruited for a job. I know my purpose in life is not to work. I know that, like, I know that I was, I, I like, I would never tell anyone where I work, but I made it clear to my boss that, like, I don't want to grow. And I didn't completely tell her why, but it's like, I know my purpose my purpose is not this my purpose i know god has put it in my face when i tell you god has showed me the path that he wants me to be on but i'm the only one stopping myself so you need to pursue your passions and i'm not saying you should just not work no like you we need to pay bills we got to survive and that's one thing i did learn but you do need to find your purpose because life is about happiness life is not about being rich life is not about having all these things like yes y'all i like to be comfortable i'm glad i can travel again i'm glad i i can breathe okay but at the end of the day life is about filling yourself up because if you're unhappy and making a lot of money you're going to just be buying yourself stuff to make you happy and i don't want that for myself so anyways the healing journey for me was therapy working out eating better like um journaling actually reading of self-growth books you guys definitely need to read self-growth books uh i'm about to grab the book so i can show you what book i really enjoyed so one of the books i read during my healing journey was this book called attached what's crazy about this book is i had this book for the longest literally i had this book for the longest and I would never read it, y'all. I don't like reading. I am starting to become a more of a reader every night. I will take at least 10 to 20 minutes to read. Um, and it helped me a lot. But I literally had bought this book. Um, I think I had bought this book before me and my ex had even been official, got together. I'm like, oh, I need to read this book. I want to learn more about my attachment styles. And then I would just never, like, be consistent with reading it. I literally would not read it for months. So once we broke up, I started reading this every day, y'all. And it, when I tell you everything happens for a reason, and you guys, when you're a spiritual person, you know, like, everything happens divine time. Um, what's meant for you ain't gonna miss you, and then what's meant for you is gonna happen, and everything happens for a reason, okay? So I ended up starting to pick this book up when we broke up, y'all. And I finished this book in like a month, and I literally had it for six months and barely read it. So y'all, it's like... 390 pages or so um it's a really good book it actually teaches you a lot about attachment styles and like being secure if you're more of a secure attachment style if you're an anxious attachment style y'all yeah, i'm a very anxious attachment style which i can make another video about that we just don't got that much time this this is an overview y'all y'all leave in the comments if y'all want some notes but yeah anyways y'all i started reading that book i learned a lot about myself and i'm like oh my god i am not normal what i'm doing is not normal um the people that i thought was secure they're not really secure and this is a t this is how i want to calm myself down or it made me just kind of reflect on who i am as a person how i view relationships and it was just a good thing for me guys so i ended up reading more books so i ended up reading that book um right now y'all just so y'all know since we're in books i'm reading single on purpose which has been taking me forever, y'all. I'm on page 82. I think this book is 100 and... No, 227 pages, y'all. I'm on 83. Because I've been playing around. But I have been reading it most nights. Um, And this one's more about my life now. Which I can talk about in a different, different scenario. I am dating somebody. But I do want to be single on purpose. Uh, which we'll talk about that. So anyways, y'all. So I started reading working out i started um eating better i started going to therapy um and i started to really look at myself and when i was going through stuff i would journal it so journaling is a good good uh thing to do because then you can always read it go back to especially when you start missing somebody a lot like if you go through a breakup um before a breakup you guys journal when you're mad you're pissed off at them journal what things you don't like about them because when you break up you be like oh my god i messed up they was the best at this they were so great at this which they could have been good people but you're forgetting the real reason you broke it off with them or they broke it off with you like go back and read those notes so yeah y'all i journal all the time and then when i got into those spaces where i'm like oh my god i want to go back to this person like i'm gonna call this person i will read it or talk to my therapist so yeah so boom, 
that's kind of what my healing journey looked like it took time you guys let yourself grieve let yourself cry you're gonna miss them yes you're gonna if you truly love them you're gonna love them forever uh but sometimes you gotta learn that love is not enough um so that's kind of how my healing journey started and i'll tell you about how my spiritual journey started because i think they go hand in hand i feel like god took me through the path of not losing because I quit my job. Let's start there. They try to offer me more money. Uh, they try to offer me my promotion. They try to offer to switch, switch um, locations. And I said no to all of that. Y'all said no to all of that. Um, and I'm happy I did because that place I used to work is still not doing great right, right now. So thank goodness I chose the right path. And also, God wanted me to get to the bottom. Y'all, God wanted me to hit rock bottom and my eyes what rock bottom is. To be like, ooh, let me get my shit together. Like, let me work on myself. Let me, like, I have all this time now. I need to look within myself and start working on myself. I was so blinded by work and so invested in other people's perspectives of me or dreams uh, for my reality that I wasn't focused on my purpose, y'all. So, what I used to do when I used to drive to work, I used to see 9-11 all the time. Y'all, that's spooky because of what we think of of 9 11 so this is part of with the religious people if you don't want to hear spiritual things i would just exit out the video so we got the healing part y'all let's do the healing part but if you not open-minded religious person i wouldn't read i wouldn't watch this so anyways y'all um i used to see 911 everywhere 9 11 and i'm like i used to say it all the time like oh it's 9 11 oh it's 9 11 like this is so weird this is 9-11. What is going on? Why do I keep seeing 9-11? And in my head, I'm thinking, like, it's a bad thing. Like, why do I keep seeing 9-11? Y'all, but at that time, I wasn't spiritually awoken, which some people don't believe in it. I don't care, okay? So, I wasn't spiritually awoken. I didn't know what it was, but I kept seeing it on my clock. I kept seeing it on my phone. I kept seeing it on my microwave. I had no clue what this was, y'all. So... I was blatantly ignoring this for, I was seeing this for over a year, y'all. <laughs> over a year. So anyways, one day I was sleeping. I was sleeping, y'all. And in my dream, all I remember is everything was black. And in the middle of the dream, like this, it was 444. So I'm like, what the hell does that mean, y'all? I had never heard of angel numbers. This had happened like... A year ago right this was before everybody was wearing angel number necklaces and stuff like that y'all so i had a dream of 444 and i'm like oh my god that's so fucking weird y'all yes y'all the day before that my friend was like oh you know i want to do like this cleanse thing on you like where she rubbed this egg on me and then she cracked in the water to see if like anyone was like wishing bad for me i don't know y'all but I was just like, mm, this is kind of weird. I don't really believe in this, but I let her do it. Like, it's spooky. So that night, y'all, I went to sleep. I, I seen 444. I'm not even playing with y'all. That's all that I remember from that dream. That's all that I seen. So I Googled. I'm like, what does that even mean? I just had a dream, 444. And it was pretty much saying, like, your angels are protecting you. Your angels are guiding you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what the heck is this? Like, we were just talking about this. Because my friend that did the egg thing, she told me, she's like, girl, like, it shows that, like, your angels are, like, protecting you. That night, I literally had a dream, 444, and I looked it up, and it said the angels are protecting me. And when I tell you the angels are protecting me, they are. When I tell you I'm God's favorite, I am. Because I've been through a lot of stuff, and I got through it. I really did. I got through it effortlessly. Um. So, anyways, y'all. Okay, so y'all, after I seen this, I started looking into it more. So after I started looking into it more, I'm like, oh my gosh, 9-11 means like you need to, like, let me, I have to look it up, y'all, but it's pretty much like you need to like urgently do something, like you need to like get to it. And when I was seeing this, I was working at my job. I wasn't supposed to be there, like 9-11 is telling me like you have a purpose and you're not, you're not fulfilling your purpose. You need to get going. And I didn't know what that was for that whole time. I started getting more into tarot, y'all. I can't even say. So I started watching it on YouTube. I ended up seeing a YouTuber um, that I really resonate with. If I could find... I'm going to link his channel below. I really like him, at least for a Pisces, because y'all, I'm a Pisces. And this is for more like the sign um, individual readings, not like an actual personal reading. So anyways, y'all, I started watching him, and I'm like, oh my God, this man knows my life. He really knows my life. Every time something actually happens. So I'm like, okay, cool. Um, and then I found this other lady, y'all. 
I'm gonna get into that. So anyways, y'all, I started to understand that I'm spiritually awoken, y'all. Like, I'm spiritually awoken. Everything works for me my life. Everything works out for me. That's how you manifest it, but that's what really happens in life for me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've been through some stuff, but I got through that stuff. I'm telling you. So anyways, y'all, I started learning that like, I'm spiritually awakened. I started learning that I'm really good at, my intuition is very strong. Like, I can meet somebody and I can tell you what I think this person's about, what their intentions are. I'm not a psychic, y'all. I'm not a psychic. <laughs> Don't, I'm not even play myself like that. But I'm very intuitive and I'm an overthinker, so I really can, like, dig into people. Like, just by looking them in their eyes for about five minutes and talking to them five to ten minutes, I can tell you what's going to go down with that person. I'm just, or if they're a genuine person or what type of person they are. So I started learning a lot about myself. Like, girl, I'm freaking gifted i'm spiritually awoken i start saging and i start watching tarot videos and like um just getting into like uh, angel numbers because i see them like now right now y'all i see 12 12 what's story that i made i was like oh this year is about um me prospering happiness da -da -da -da, prosperity y'all after i said those words I kept seeing 12 12 everywhere. I never seen 12 12 before. Start seeing 12 12 all the time now, y'all. Then I look up 12 12 and it means prosperity and happiness and everything's gonna come easy to you. Bitch, when I tell you I be manifesting things, I don't know how I do it. Well, I do because everything works out for me and I'm God's favorite. I always, always say I'm God's favorite. So, anyways, y'all, so boom. I was like, oh my God. I do feel prosperity. I do feel happiness in my life. And I feel like I had to go through all these bad things to become happy. Because I said when I said before, before when I used to work, I said, nothing in life can make you happy. What is happiness? And then when I start to sit with myself, like happiness is not going to go spend a thousand dollars, earn a bag, two thousand dollars, and then to come back home and be sad you gotta go to a job you hate. Happiness is about feeling yourself and mentally happiness is about your mental will you will you master your mental and make your mental health healthier happiness comes to you you are happiness when you start working out and getting those endorphins that is happiness y'all when you start talking to yourself positively that is happiness when you start reading books to help yourself when you start following your passions Y'all, I can't even do it. I feel like a preacher. But yes, y'all. So anyways, that had happened. Um, also, y'all, one big thing that happened in my life is I went to go see a psychic, which I haven't seen her in a while because y'all, the psychics are expensive. Love her, but $50 for 30 minutes. I'm cheap nowadays. Y'all, I came from, oh, I'll spend money in five seconds to, um, uh, that's $20. Mm, don't need it right now. Uh, that's a hundred. Mm, I'm gonna think about it. You know, I'm very frugal now, which I appreciate in life because I was too spendy, y'all. I was too spendy before. So, anyways, y'all, and I make more money now, and I still just like, mm, nope, don't need it. Nope, let's go to Clarence. Okay, Chanel, get the Clarence toys. Anyways, y'all. So, after this spiritual thing, I end up going to a psychic. I never been to a psychic, but when I sat down with her, I was like, mm. This girl is not going to tell me anything. Like, I don't feel like, I feel like all this stuff is going to be BS. She really, like, gave me a re reading and told me exactly what's going to happen in my life. She told me, I'm going to just be very open because I'm really feeling open right now. But she told me that me and my ex, that my ex did really love me a lot. And he did teach me a lot, which is true. Which is true. I do see both things. Uh, uh, I think he taught myself to uh, expect more, to... Um, not settle for less, which I love him for that. Um, I always will. I have no hate towards him. Um, and then she told me about how, but he wasn't just going to be the one for me. And I'm not going to go into whole details of that. But everything she told me was pretty much true, y'all. And then after that, y'all, she told me that I was going to meet the person that I'm supposed to be with, y'all. And that this person was coming really soon after I started working on myself. Y'all, I was starting to work on myself. This person was somebody I used to be with, came back. Y'all, I can't make this stuff up. Like, I really can't make this stuff up. Like, he was my first love ever. Like, the first, 
Well, I had a relationship before him, but he was like my second relationship, which is like my real first relationship. So anyways, y'all, he ended up coming back and my psychic told me by March, I was for sure, it's going to be soon, but by March for sure, I'm going to be with that person that's going to do everything that I'm looking for. That's going to be the one for me. And I'm like, mm, it's not giving that. Like, I'm depressed. I'm sad. I want my own back. You're going to be the one for me and everything. And I'm looking like, girl, I just got a relationship. I don't see this happening. It's giving mm, suspicious. So anyways, y'all, everything she said has happened. I'm not going to lie to you. Everything she said has happened. Um, And what I will say about my manifesting powers, I've learned that a lot of things in my life I do actually manifest. I remember when I first, manifestation is real, just speak positively into yourself. Work towards yourself, though. It's not going to happen if you're not doing nothing. Yes! Sometimes just easily happens for you because that has happened in my life. Like things just happen. Things just come to me. And it does because I'm God's favorite. I am. Okay, y'all. Um, I got a job without even looking for a job. I've done that several times, y'all. I've met people that I never thought I would meet. I built relationships with people that just came to me. Um, but I put, I think too, if you put positivity in the world, you get positivity back. But anyways, y'all, I don't want to talk too long. So anyways, y'all, so that was what the psychic said. Then I went to YouTube one day, y'all. This was in November. I wish I had the exact dates when I watched this YouTube video, y'all. And I wish, I might try to go back and find that YouTube video. Um, and then try to put it in here because people think I'd be tripping online. But in one of the videos, which this person I'm talking to don't know about this, and he knows my YouTube channel now. Hopefully, he don't watch this. We don't have each other on social media. He's not a new person. It's my first love. That well, he probably don't even know he was my first love. But yeah. So, anyways, y'all. So, um, I hope he don't think I'm a weirdo. <laughs> but I'm gonna just tell y'all. So I watched this one YouTube video, and she was talking about how somebody from my past is about to come back. I'm thinking it's Larry, because Larry is always coming back, which that man needs some help. He needs some milk, okay? So I'm thinking it's Larry. I'm like, oh my God, I don't want nobody. I don't want him coming back for sure, okay? And at this point, I think he had already came back. And then that's when we had that problem, which you can watch my previous video if you want to see that. So I'm like, okay, what the heck? And then she was like, uh, manifest the, the ex that you really uh cared about that you would want to come back like somebody that you really had no like big problems with that you would want to come back because this person is gonna come back like just say their name right now y'all and i said my first love's name because he's my only ex where i felt like we didn't end on a bad terms at all it was mostly because he had moved away from college so it wasn't gonna work out I'm not going to say how it ended was perfect, but I would just say, like, out of all my relationships, we really had a good relationship. We barely argued. Um, we was with each other a lot. And really, it seemed very genuine, to be honest. Like, all my other situations or exes, I was like, they really pissed me off. Pissed me off several times. And I had to keep saying the same stuff over and over and over again, okay? Okay. But no, with this ex, it was truly like he was going out way for college. I was here for college and it just wasn't going to work. But I don't think he wanted to say that. And so the way it ended was not the most mature way. But it wasn't bad. Like out of all my relationships, I would say that's probably the one that was the least problematic relationship. Um. So anyways, y'all. So boom. It was more like distance is what caused us not to be together. So y'all. He ended up, I said his name, y'all, and I can, I'm not making this stuff up, y'all. If y'all don't believe in this stuff, but y'all believe in God, and y'all believe all these, mis what is it called, mysterious, mysterious, mystical creatures and stuff. If you believe in that, but you don't believe in, like, spirit, your spirit and being able to manifest things and being able to, um, but also not everyone's chosen, that's to start there. But anyways, y'all, let me get to it, y'all, because I'm a weirdo. But yeah, so, boom, I said his name, and two weeks later, when I tell y'all, and I think that reading was for that week, you know how they do it for the, the next week or whatever? So, it literally had to be a week to two weeks later, y'all, this man messaged me, and I'm not going to say where, because I don't want people to look for him. 
But this man messaged me through social media and was telling me that he was back. And he moved back to where I, what state I live in. Which y'all should know what state I live in. But anyways, y'all. So he had moved back. I'm going to say he just moved back to Minnesota. Because y'all should know I live in Minnesota. But anyways, y'all. So he ended up moving back to Minnesota. He told me he wanted to take me on a day. He wanted to catch up. So I'm like, okay. At this point, y'all, I was like deep in my healing process. Pretty sad still about my ex. I will not lie to y'all, y'all. I'm still going through my breakup phases. And I was sad. I didn't want to go on a date with nobody. I ain't going to lie. I had downloaded like Hinge and stuff. And I told somebody I was going to go on a date with them. And then I told them, never mind, I'm not going to go. And then somebody else had um, wanted me to go to the go for drinks with them or something. I told them I was going to go. And I said, never mind, I'm not going to go. <laughs> Y'all, so I was like literally sending so many people off. I did not want to be involved with these niggas for real. So with him, though, I'm like, this is my first love. But I do want to go see him. Like, this is crazy because I just said this, man. Hey. So anyways, y'all, I end up going with him, and we ended up having a great time. This was right before I was about to go out of town to Dallas. So if you wanted to see that, you can go on my Instagram to see if you want to know the time frame or something. So anyways, y'all, so since then, me and him have been dating and, like, taking things slow because, like, I just got out of a relationship. But now it's been a while now. Like, it's now been, like, what, six months soon when March comes up. So, you know, we're taking it slow. We're getting to know each other again. We're spending a lot of time together, a lot of time with, together with each other. We're pretty good, like, coexisting together a lot. And I just, so far, so good. I ain't gonna get too much into it, y'all. But I just wanted to tell y'all, like, how my whole spiritual journey started. Like, how I've been able to manifest. Uh, I don't think it's no secret code where you got to write certain things certain times because I tried that before that don't work for me. I think it's really putting those words out in the world and living by it and actually believing it. You got to believe it. You got to believe it, y'all. So anyways, y'all, that's that video. I could do a deeper video if you want to know um, more about my spiritual journey or if you want me to go more into detail with my psychic set or my first experience with a psychic or if you want to go into details i don't freaking know y'all so this is just an overview of my healing if you want more questions about that like oh how did i motivate myself for a breakup video who freaking knows so anyways y'all so the next video for sure is going to be about uh being an entrepreneur how social media glorifies that which is all cap take the cap off okay but uh, i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.